ladies and gentlemen. I, it, please just permit me that I had a reason for asking them to remove the, the problem so that you understand that I am standing here because of you. It is not the same over there. That is the truth. If you were not with us, if you have not stood with us, we won't be here at this hour. A lot of you might not understand what happened on the 30th of October, the year of our God, 2023. It was an assassination to the people of Buddha State. Indirectly, assassination to me. They can't kill every one of you, but they need to kill one person so that everybody will be declared dead. But somehow, somewhere, by the special grace of God, and the God that we are thanking today, it turned, see why I said, for God to take my son, what they meant for evil, God turned it. Good. I just want to say that we have journeyed so far. We have taken the most difficult part of this job. There is nothing that is happening now that is not some mountain. I want you to go that. So you need to praise up. It's true. Nothing has happened. We're still complete. We're still in. Let me tell you. They said we're not going to last for one week. We're here. We're done one year plus. We're also praying. We're praying. They said those Bukandians will not leave as local government chair. Today, we have the local government chair. The city. They said commissioners should resign immediately so that we will be crippled. Today, we will have more than 23 commissioners. They said they are not going to do anything. We want to frustrate them in a, in a, in a program in the They said, we are going to make them the not succeed. By the special grace of God, we are backed up projects about touching the life of the rest of We didn't end there. We have shown prudence that we are not here to steal your money. That we are here to give accountability. And to yesterday, you saw it. It was declared by River State transparency and accountability kept them in number one position. Now ask the question who is the winner? Who is the winner? So I tell you this evening, we are here to tell God, to appreciate God. God. The way you did it one year ago, we know you're going to do it again for us. So you don't need to bother about the stories that are in social media. That one is the least of your trouble. By tomorrow, I'm still thinking to pay my contractors. By tomorrow, those of you that have not gotten your salary, you won't pay salary, you are not going to get to you. You can the main channel, you can your job. Your money is coming to your accounts. And that's it again. Who is the loser? Who is the loser? We are not doing much to here to celebrate loss. Failure. We are praising God because he's taking us to a higher position. So, 
You see the reason why you need to be happy. You see the reason why we choose today to celebrate the goodness of God in our state and in our life. You can't thank him enough. That my sister said something. Count your blessings. I just named few of them here. What else can be ascribed to success when your enemy is around you and you're still winning? That is the success. To make a promise to you that will continue to defend and protect the interests of the United States genuinely, and we're not going back on that. We will do it. We will follow it. With your support, we will journey it to the end. It has not ever, God has never said it is going to be easy. Even when God prepared a beautiful temple, before his favorite son, he also told him that this devil has prepared him. It's before your enemy. <laughs> so let us know that the enemy is there. But that notwithstanding, our cup, our cup. Because, because we are the people of peace. If there is any advantage that was taken, it is because of our genuineness of peace. The preacher said something about peace. We went to Abuja. And Mr. President, knowing the importance of peace, River State, brought out, they brought out some conditions. We came back here in this state. First, we did everything that has to do with those, those conditions. We went to court immediately. We threw our matters. And you call yourself honorable when you cannot even obey simple instruction. You say to what? That's not the problem. That's not the problem. It was because we withdrew our matter. Even the matter you fire, and we said we don't want to continue. You took advantage of it and went and got judgment. And you, you see, you, you claim. Is it not fraud? You ought you 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 not to come out and talk to people and people listen to it because it shows that you're not hungry. As a vulnerable person, I, I, I acted as, as a vulnerable man, believing that the agreement should be what we should strengthen. And I came and I complied. When I discovered that I was being ambushed, not by the person who initiated the peace, but people who believe that they are smart, that you know the wiseness of no matter what I've got yourself, they speak foolishness before. That is why he said, those are the things that they are looking for to make them feel they are coming back to life. We will not do it. I don't want to call the name, but we will not do it. So let me see how they will come to life when we don't do it. So please, I thank every one of you. This night, just like the preacher said, it's a man that God has declared is going to be peace. We are taking off from this arena to a greater height of peace in the state. That is the truth. Because our heart genuinely is for peace. And we we'll get that peace in a way, in a manner that only God himself alone will give it to us. So that celebration and honor, adoration will also go back to him. Because he has shown that it is him alone that is above everyone. So be strong. Nothing has happened. In the local palace, you people used to say, nothing begging. So there's nothing begging. Huh? I key to the peace. And I just want to say that peace will definitely reign in River State so that the wishes of everybody in better River State will be attended to. I had a reason for breaking this event here before I close. This facility was built by one of our foremost 
Come on. I think so. And you can see that for how many years this thing is still the way it is strong. If I thought there's any issue, maybe a little touch. These are people who came in and believed that they would do things for River State that will stand the test of time. And I want to say that it is only a few of the governors after that time that have done things like this that are standing the test of time. My promise to everyone, the reverse people, is our administration will do things that will stand the test of time. No matter what it is, we will continue to do those things that even when we leave, people will see it and say, yes, it is done for the good, not for personal interest. Not doing the road because I have a farm. Not expanding the road because I have a business interest along the streets. There's I mean doing things that even when we leave, there's one here who said, what will be remembered? So please, I want your support to make sure that what you want for River State, we will do it for River State. Let me thank the organizers, my, the, the, the SLG, for putting this very special place of worship together. Honestly, when I came in here, the Spirit of God took over everything. It made me start looking more beautiful than my wife. <laughs> So you can see that that is the most important thing is being in the presence of God. And because we have dedicated this day to God, it will, be, it will only be remembered in a positive manner and situation. Nothing will happen on any 30th of October again that will bring sadness to us. Rather, it will be good news, good news, and good news. Let me, on behalf of my wife and the government, appreciate every one of you again. Show you that the worst is over. Our Bible, huh? Look at it. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, this one I'm carrying is going by me. Huh? So, you don't need to be scared. We are going to journey it and journey it to the end with your support. Thank you. God bless everyone.